everybody and welcome back to our channel. My name is Terrell. And my name is Brendan. And we are BNC, BNC Reacts. Reacts. And today we are checking out Top 10 Best Nickelodeon Theme Songs. And this is by The Disney Brain. Um, what? Top Nickelodeon Songs by The Disney Brain. Okay. Um, <laughs> definitely interested to check this out. Listen, so a few weeks ago, um, oh, also, if you're watching this, um, we didn't record or we weren't posting um, for... A while now, almost a month, because I, I had COVID. I had COVID, and um, I was going through it bad, and it was a whole thing. But now I'm better. We're doing better now, readjusting everything, so we're good now. Happy but anyway, um, yes, happy New Year. Um, but anyway, yes, um, we did a Disney Channel version of this two parts actually a few weeks ago. Um, and we were meant to, we were going to check this out a few weeks ago, but again, everything happened. Um, so definitely interested to see the top ten um Nickelodeon songs. What are you? What is your favorite? We did not slam. Slander, the Disney one. What is um, your favorite? Nickelodeon. Yeah. I don't know. I can only think of like a few. That's why I'm like, I don't even think I can think of ten. Mine is in between all that and okay. iCarly. Yeah, I, iCarly's good. I don't know. All right, let's I don't. I can't think. <laughs> of, I can't think of one that like stands out to me. It's some more that I'm probably Disney missing. I'm the Disney Brain, and welcome to the top. This time around, we're jumping right back into the orange. I did not know it was going to be commentary. Yeah, I didn't either. Would you believe it, guys? I'm really, I didn't even watch the naked, um, I don't think Zoe went to watch. Naked Brothers, um, I forgot that it was for, like, Nick shows. So thank you to all of you who helped make that video a major hit. Also, there won't be any Power Rangers themes here, only because I'll probably make a second video. like, animated shows, too. All that said, let's kick things off with What's that, did Nick? Or was that Disney? I don't remember. Very up front because Nick and Ronnie, please don't. I don't remember. Everything blends like together. That. This is a really good thing song. I was thinking of this one too. King and Kill was a staple of the Oh, he's like King talking. King and the best themes to back them up as well. Julio was actually a very influential rapper back in the day. Yeah. Even though he's less known now. Really good theme song. You ain't never seen this show. Really good show too. It's especially clever how he compares the lead duo to other famous duos of the past because they actually do share some similar traits with all of them. Two of Nick's finest men come in at number 10. Nick, 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 Nick. Are you ready? Oh. I know for a fact that several people who maybe don't like this show do enjoy the theme song. It's this is a good show, though. It's off some mm, pretty solid singing, along with the backing I really enjoyed this show. Sister, ...who doubles as the queen of 90s pop, Britney Spears. Yeah, we ain't gonna talk about Jamie though right now. She been, oh yeah, she's she, she, she was she a little shaky right now on Britney because we support Britney over here, baby. Period. Oh yeah. Oh. Uh, yeah 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 yeah. Oh damn. Four, three, two. I was gonna do some higher, but let's see what he got. This was like the first time most of us heard Miranda Cosgrove sing. She does pretty well here. Getting backing vocals from Drake Bell certainly doesn't hurt either. This theme has the energy. Yeah. It also has a bit of zaniness to it that complements the show rather well. It was just very Remember catchy. Don't get me wrong. Yeah. And that's yeah. really good for like kids shows. And random as I call this dance. It has a theme song in, in general. Case, it isn't as much of a problem. And the chorus for this one absolutely delivers. If you haven't seen the new iCarly, it's um, really good. I definitely recommend you watching the new iCarly. Yeah, it is. It's pretty good. Oh, dude, I'm Doug. Doug. I said dude, Doug. Duke. One of the most unique themes to ever be conjured up by the network is the main theme for Doug. I really like this show. And a lot of its uniqueness came from the fact that it used sound effects to different ends, and the theme is very symbolic of just that. There's some instrumentals in there, but it's mainly a lot of varied vocal sounds from the other like creative early people early hold. Again, the theme does well to capture the heart of the show and its emphasis on imagination. There's really no theme song like it, and Fred Newman, the man who composed it, deserves a ton of praise. This is a really good theme song too. What the hell is this? I'm not quite sure about Make It Pop as a show. I don't know. It's got its positives and its flaws, but I'm very sure. I've never heard of this show. I've never heard of it either. It's a ton of fun. It's one of those themes that gets you excited to watch a show. This must have been on. Yeah, this must be new. 
Oh, and then if I stop, when did I stop watching it? I stopped watching it around like when I got really notorious and dude. I still watch fun though. Once again, yeah. looks like I'll have to credit Nick Cannon, who was indirectly responsible for making a really fun theme song. I guess they're like a pop group. Nick Cannon made that one, Nick? I found a way, I found a way. Rappers or leading ladies. While both of those elements work out well, Drake Bell provides a very unique kind of theme song. It has energy, but it's tempered in a way that kind of fits Drake's persona on the show. It's a lot less pop and a lot more rock, which is exactly the kind of theme song Nick needed to diversify its sound. But beyond that, it's a really good song in its own right and does well to capture the true essence of Drake and John. Yeah. Trying to literally it's a really good song, especially for that show. Always coming through for each other in if the it's... end. Nah. Love your <laughs> Once again, feeling Let me go get my wig. Oh, no, please don't. Going for it. You wanna go get my wig? No, please don't. And a great theme song. Okay. This song has all the fun of a make it pop while having some of the best lyrics of any theme song on the network. Not Enjoy. a fantasy. It's a lyrical aspect of a theme song that often gets overlooked, but in this case, the lyrics don't just get at the heart when of the When I make it. Mega, but they also really work as pure <laughs> music too. Everything about this theme song works and works well. When I make it shine <laughs> Don't look back to hesitate Be fine Alright, I'm not agreeing with some of this stuff but I know. <laughs> This is a good theme song, but I don't think it's one of the top Yeah that would still function well. Didn't they come back? Not tied to any show, and that really yeah, I think they are. Um, like, are things doing a tour or something? Yeah, I think they're on tour right now, right? Let's face it, Buddy. all of these guys know how Depends. to show. <laughs> because everything was like, yeah. Music groups like Gravity 5, the world right now is band and others, same. The boys of BTR reign supreme. And this theme, while not their all-time best song, is a great example of why. They are alive. Big time. All that. Oh, this is a good thing song. TLC did thing. Yeah. It's all that. Oh, you might be a bit of nostalgia talking, but this theme song isn't just memorable, it's incredible. TLC, another powerful 90s group, did the rapping for this one, and it hits now this is just an the rap is special, <laughs> as it doesn't just represent the show, it really is the show. All that as a show changed skits, changed personnel, but until season 7, it never changed its theme song. The vibe of it is flawless and exceptionally 90s and Yeah, that was a mistake. Really flows really well. theme song, and it initiated one of the all-time greatest shows Nick has ever produced. Yeah. Not much more to say about this one. If you were fortunate enough to hear it live while all that was still the show to watch on Saturday night, then you probably understand where I'm coming from. But one theme still remains. Who beat out all that for the top spot? We'll get there. But first, some honorable mentions. Fine at all. I guess. I don't know. I don't know if like there's not one that really stands out. As like the best. Or family or prime some kind of day. Or maybe. I feel like it has to be one of the animals. I'm fatless. Oh. Yeah, I didn't watch the show like that. The wild boy. I know! I love this thing song. I know! Oh daddy Oh that was good. He's a phantom. I forgot that I keep for Oh yeah, you can, can be me. I used to like that show. I should like her in the show, I'm sorry. We so I'm, I'm sorry, I've right. never heard of that show. This is before my time. Hey. <laughs> I forgot he had a mixed show. I don't know what Oh, what? I don't Probably not the number one pick you all expected, but the theme song I definitely consider the all-time best from the network. I've talked a lot about how theme songs serve okay. as a gateway into the show they represent. Mm -hmm. You won't find a more intentionally weird show than The Adventures of Pete Pete, but the theme to match. The lyrics are hard to understand if you don't know what they are, but you just need to look them up to properly gauge it. This song isn't just interesting lyrically, but it just might be the deepest theme song to ever come out of a Nick show. Who is Sandy, the girl the band is singing about? And why is her dog such a threat to bite? Hmm. There's so many layers to this song, and it's not a by-the-numbers theme that explains the show and then fades away. 
Hey Sandy by Polaris isn't just a great theme, it's really great music and it cut above your standard theme song in a lot of unique and interesting ways. It may not top other lists, but for me, it's number one, so the list is done. Oh, and here's an interesting challenge for those of you who haven't seen the lyrics of this song yet. Listen to the theme and try to figure out what they're saying, and then compare that to the actual lyrics. I think you just might be entertained with it. Yeah, I'm gonna pass on that. Um, yeah. thanks for all, though. I had no idea. I, yeah. Oh, all right. If you like this video, go ahead and throw it in the like. Only you so can be you. Only I can, can be me. Facebook and Twitter for updates. Links down below. The coming days will finally bring the Team Beach Movie Decom Review. And, since I've delayed it long enough, we're going to go straight from that Decom Review to another Decom Review as we jump right back into the Cheetah Trilogy. I might do a top five worst Nick Alright, so this is just what well, he, he probably done Nick already did this. Um, <clears throat> oh yeah, that was 2016. This is made in 2016. He probably done already done this. Um, and so many more. What did you think of this video? Um, it was fine. It was, it was, it was different to have commentary over it, but it, I guess it was welcomed. Um, I guess to give, have him give an explanation of why he put everything there. Um, we'll say kind of anticlimactic because I didn't even know the first one. So that was kind of like, mm, whatever. Um, but I ex I did, I guess when I thought about it, like I didn't even think of, like older shows like I guess I was just thinking like shows that I grew up watching which I guess like just are the ones that I could remember so I did actually enjoy that there was like Doug and like like just, like well, some of the first Nick shows too um yeah that I didn't even think of but mm -hmm. it was okay um yeah um I enjoyed this very much I actually enjoyed the commentary um really enough I didn't know how I was gonna feel in the beginning but I um quite enjoyed it um I enjoyed that he gave his opinions in a way that wasn't bad for other shows um, it just was his personal favorites. And again, this video is his opinions. Just like the other previous videos we did. We have our own different opinions. To me, I think all that um, is the top one. Just because that was the... That, that theme song was the epitome of that show. Like, it captured everything in that show. And what the show meant. And the, the, the weirdness and the funkiness of the 90s. Yeah, like it, it captured that so well. So many other great theme songs, though, and there were a lot of great ones on here that I did agree with. I just didn't agree with the placement. Um, yeah. But yeah, Nickelodeon, and they got some good shows. I think Nickelodeon, we had definitely had in the nineties. Nickelodeon was it, like. Yeah, yeah. Definitely. Nickelodeon started going downhill. Unfortunately, I, even though this is my favorite Nickelodeon show, was SpongeBob because SpongeBob really shifted how Nickelodeon started doing things. Yep. And SpongeBob was still an amazing show, but it just. Nickelodeon wasn't the same like in the nineties um than it is. And I actually didn't I did know the uh, last show. I just don't I don't remember I have very vivid memories of watching it, um, like reruns of it, but even that I don't remember watching it too much. So but anyways, that's all for this reaction. If you like it, please make sure you give it a thumbs up. Make sure you also hit the subscribe button, go ahead and comment down below. More reaction cats and give me more videos like this to anything and we will react to it. And make sure to follow us on our social medias, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, and follow both of our separate channels. Yes, yeah, so that is all for this reaction, and we're out. Bye! Bye.